After using the Galaxy S23 Ultra for more than a month, I have to say that its cameras have exceeded my expectations. In particular, the main camera has proven to be highly reliable in all situations, producing stunning images consistently. While I have generally stuck to the 12 megapixel setting, I decided to put the phone's full capabilities. In this video, I pushed the camera to its limits with a resolution of 200 megapixels, comparing it to the 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel modes. As we examine the first sample, it becomes immediately apparent that the sky colors are truly remarkable in the 12 megapixel mode. However, the sky appears entirely blown out in the 50 megapixel mode, while the 200 megapixel picture strikes a balance between the two. Additionally, I notice that my skin color appears more natural in the bin 12 megapixel picture. Upon closer inspection, I was surprised to find that the full resolution picture was actually the least detailed of the three. In fact, my face looks remarkably sharp in the middle picture, with the one on the right following closely behind. Moving on to the next sample, I observed that, much like before, the 212 megapixel pictures are nearly indistinguishable in terms of color and dynamic range. However, I did notice that the center picture appears brighter overall and does not look as natural as the other two. Upon zooming in and cropping the image, it is clear that the blocks on the chimney on the left are exceptionally sharp, while on the right, almost all of the details have been lost. The 50 megapixel mode, however, strikes a balance between the two, with more detail preserved than the picture on the right but not quite as sharp as the 200 megapixel mode. I also detected that when I was in the frame and the camera was set to the 12 megapixel mode, the resulting image captured my appearance in a natural and realistic manner, closely resembling how I looked in real life. However, the other two modes seemed to overly brighten my face, resulting in an unnatural and slightly overexposed look. In this sample, I noticed that all of the modes are doing an impressive job with capturing details, especially when it comes to my face and hair. The 250 megapixel pictures have really nailed the level of detail, and with some minor adjustments, I can achieve a result that is as natural looking as the 12 megapixel mode. Looking at the next sample, it appears that all of the images are capturing the flower in the frame beautifully, with similar processing and color rendition. However, upon closer examination, I noted that the center picture appears to be the sharpest of the three, while the image on the left looks slightly soft. The picture on the right, meanwhile, seems to be losing some of the finer details. Moving to low light and in this first case without night mode I look brighter on the left and on the center even though the bend picture. On the right is technically supposed to be brighter. Most people however are not aware that night mode can be used with all the resolutions. When night mode is enabled, all three images are significantly improved compared to the previous samples. When cropping in, the full resolution image on the left is particularly impressive, capturing an incredible number of details. The 12 megapixel image comes second in terms of detail while the 50 megapixel image seems to lose some of the finer details in the scene. Looking at the landscape images with night mode enabled, I notice that all of the images appear almost identical in terms of color tone, which is impressive. Samsung has clearly worked hard to ensure that the different resolution modes capture images with a consistent color tone, which is great news for photographers who frequently switch between modes. Cropping in at a specific spot in the landscape image. I was surprised to see that all three modes appeared identical in terms of sharpness. In conclusion, whether or not it is worth using 200 megapixels ultimately depends on your needs and preferences as a photographer. If you are a professional and have the time to experiment with different modes and analyze the resulting images, then it may be worth exploring the higher resolution modes to see if they offer any advantages in specific situations. However, for most casual photographers, sticking to the 12 megapixel mode is likely to be the best option. Not only is it simpler and more convenient, but it still offers excellent image quality with plenty of detail and sharpness. Ultimately, the high-resolution modes on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra are a valuable addition to its already impressive camera capabilities, and they offer a range of creative possibilities for photographers looking to push their skills and experiment with new techniques. But for most people, the 12 megapixel mode is likely to be the best choice for everyday use. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.